everybody welcome back this is cassie uh today i'm going to be painting some fruits and i'm going to be reviewing my new paul rubin watercolor sketchbook it's so pretty and pink and i love it i'm also going to be reviewing some daniel smith watercolors these are and oh and this palette that i got um i got this on etsy it's a really nice uh, watercolor tin and they came came with a little sample and the uh, same seller made the little pans that go in. They're magnetic and they are phenomenal. They stick on really nicely uh, and it's just really well made. It's super nice. I, I love it, honestly, and it's super tight. Uh, this is the seller right here. If you are interested, I'll also put a link to their stuff down below. They were super accommodating and really sweet, especially because I was an idiot and didn't buy it in one order. <laughs> so that was my fault for being overexcited when I saw the palette, but it's really nice. So right here, we're gonna just fill up the palette and uh, I was really excited to get these paints. I've never had tube paints before. I've only ever used pans and I have no problems with pans. I, I really like them a lot. But from all YouTube videos that I've seen, a lot of uh, artists, YouTubers talk about how much more vibrant uh, tube watercolors are. And so I really wanted to try it out. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Daniel Smiths. Um, you'll notice that they're quite small <laughs> and that was my fault too. I actually thought I was buying the full size and I did not read inappropriately. <laughs> I get way too excited sometimes and I'll just slam that uh, buy button a little too fast. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. But honestly, despite their small size, I really ended up liking the size that I got. It was really expensive regardless, um, or expensive to me. I'm kind of super cheap. <laughs> but uh, they were all really, really nice. Uh, and there's a lot of paint still left in these small tubes. So it ended up being probably the best investment, especially because I wasn't sure if I liked them. And you know, if I didn't like them, at least I didn't have giant tubes laying around. Uh, the one problem I did have when I was opening them is that some of the paints were exploding right out of the tube. I don't know if that's normal. Like I said, I don't really use tubed paints that much. I don't um, do really a lot of painting outside of watercolor. Um, I've done some oils and some acrylics, but that's not really my go-to. And I guess it's not the biggest deal. I mean, art's kind of messy, but I really don't like it when it explodes all over my hands. That's just kind of a me problem. Uh, but like I said, going back to the uh, pan again, the pan is super nice. I highly recommend ordering from this Etsy shop. Uh, I think it's pronounced Piper or something. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but like I said, I'll put a link down below if you're interested. It's a really good uh, pan. Uh, since filming this, the uh, paint, I've had it closed and the paint is still perfectly in use. Uh, and it's, it's super good. So here we are painting the watercolor swatches. I did this as soon as I got them put in the pan because I really wanted to see how they looked because like I said, everyone talks about how uh, tubes are super vibrant and really pretty and you know, I just I was just super excited And so I immediately jumped into while doing splotches swatches splotches. What the hell is splotches? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> still getting used to this, but anyway Everybody was right. <laughs> That's not a surprise. Everybody was right about the tubes the tubes are just these were so pretty oh my god like the blues were so nice and that green is beautiful and when we get to the reds oh my god i couldn't believe how vibrant and yummy the reds looked like it was just incredible and as soon as i was putting the swatches down i was just i was so excited to get to painting it's just it's incredible uh i definitely still like uh, pans because pans are a little bit more easier to drag around you can t you tend to get them in smaller uh uh, sizes and they're sold a lot more and they're cheaper <laughs> but oh my god it's just it's just th these tubes I don't know if I'll ever be able to permanently go back these these are beautiful I it definitely uh, has brought me over to the Daniel Smith family <laughs> I really want to be able to um, get some of their other colors um, at a later date I want to get used to using these more primary colors but I'm super excited to try out the other ones because I know that they have like a bunch of other colors. I know there's green variants and such. So I'm really, really excited. So here I got a little uh, watercolor 
test swatch from the Etsy shop that I ordered my uh, pans in and they do homemade watercolors as well and so I got my own little uh, swatch from it and it's really nice uh, it's just a really nice color I think it's uh, I can't remember I don't have it right next to me but I think it's red orchid if I'm not mistaken, I'm not quite sure because I can't see it from my screen, <laughs> but it's so pretty. It's not unlike the uh, brown color that I have here on my Daniel Smith, but it definitely leans more into the warmer red tones. So to test out my uh, Paul Rubin sketchbook, which I was so excited to get, by the way, because it's pretty in pink and I've been feeling the pink lately because when I was growing up, uh, I was definitely one of those girls who was like, <laughs> pink, I don't like pink. Pink. I'm not like other girls <laughs> and now I'm in my 20s and I'm like oh cover everything in pink I don't even care oh my god give it to me <laughs> so when I saw this really pretty pink watercolor sketchbook I was just like oh I need that I absolutely need it it's also hot press and I've never used hot press watercolor paper before I've only ever used cold press so there were a lot of new things I was trying out <laughs> today and so I decided to uh, give it a test run with some fruity uh, paintings. I actually got inspired by Shada Campbell, who is a really wonderful uh, art YouTuber and a really great teacher, by the way. If you haven't seen her stuff, I highly recommend her, though I'm certain everyone has seen her because she's very, very good at what she does. <laughs> she did um, some orange uh, uh, paintings and I did those as well because I needed to kind of like get myself in the groove and it was so much fun that I just wanted to do my own little painting. So I'm doing strawberries here. And then later on, I do some peaches. Peaches were a lot more fun. I don't really care how the strawberries came out. <laughs> I'm not really used to drawing fruits. And uh, I never really like how I draw strawberries, let alone paint them. But I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to have fun and just do something super easy and not some, nothing I can really think about. So even if I don't like them, it's fine because they're just, they're just fun little sketches. And I got to work on my new uh, sketchbook and use my paints. And it was so much fun getting to use those really pretty reds. The uh, peaches, though, were so much fun. They were they came out a lot nicer. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna, definitely going to probably do more peaches. Because peaches are just really pretty. I like their colors. And uh, you get to really see the paints blend together uh, when I do the peaches. And you can really just see them working together. It's super, super nice. But until we get there, I will leave you guys with some nice music. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, I had a really fun time making it. I'm trying to get better at editing. I'm using a new editing program, actually, uh, Premiere Pro. Um, it's it's complicated, but I'm learning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Enjoy the strawberries, enjoy the peaches, <laughs> and you guys have a great day. All right, stay safe. Bye-bye.
Make me feel like a piece of art.